Good evening, good morning, wherever you may be this evening or this morning. Welcome you all to our prayers for tonight. This is going to be part two on the subject of winds of mercies. A lot happens in the unseen realm, both positively and negatively. Yes, they do. A lot. Things you don't see, they happen all around you. And sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Many of the things that affect us for good and for evil are things we cannot see with the naked eyes. Such are the winds of mercies. No one has ever seen wind before. We feel wind blowing, but you can't hold it in your hands. We feel their effects, but we cannot trace their origin, nor how they operate. And frankly, we don't have to. Such was the wind that dried up the waters surrounding Noah that we prayed about yesterday, and such also was the wind that walked in our story of today. Before I read the passage of scripture we're going to use tonight, do your friends a favor, do your neighbors a favor, do your family a favor. Notify them that we're on the air. Please do. Sometimes many of you do. Sometimes many of you just want to stay online and pray and not be bothered about other people. I'd like for you to be your brother's keeper and your sister's keeper tonight because everyone needs to pray these prayers. So whether you are listening to us on the podcast or you are with me right now on Facebook, looking at me face to face, or you are calling in, I want you to please let somebody know that prayer is on and they need to be part of it. Let us pray. Father, we ask that you will please pour out the spirit of prayer and supplication tonight. Give me the anointing to lead these prayers and give your people the anointing to pray also. But Father, we don't want to pray alone. We want to pray through. We ask that you will give us that grace to be able to pray and to be able to pray through. Father, just have your way and be glorified. Have your way and be magnified. Have your way. And bless your people in a very, very, very special way. We'll be careful to give you the praise when it's all done. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. All God's people everywhere said amen. And amen and amen. We're praying tonight about winds of mercies. Winds of mercies. The passage of scripture we are going to use is one that we are all very well familiar with. We know this scripture very well. And that's an advantage for me. I don't have to read everything because it's a story that everybody knows about. And because of that advantage of familiarity, I will not read all the scriptures because of time. It's a story of the escape of the Israelites from Egypt. I'm sure you know that story, how Israel escaped from Egypt. And then after they escaped, Pharaoh and his cronies had a change of heart. They wanted Israel back by all means. So what did they do? They pursued after Israel. In fact, the Bible tells me that they were able to overtake them. 
But guess what happened? A wind blew that day. It's called the wind of mercy. It prevented them, I'm talking about Pharaoh and his cronies, from being able to fulfill their wicked mission. Look with me at Exodus chapter 14 in verse number 9. The Bible says, But the Egyptians pursued after them all the horses and all the chariots of Pharaoh and his horsemen and his army and overtook them. That's what I said. They caught up with them. And camping by the sea beside Piharoth before Beelzephon. And when Pharaoh drew nigh, the children of Israel lifted up their eyes, and behold, the Egyptians marched after them, and they were so afraid. And the children of Israel cried unto the Lord. Let's jump to verse 13. And Moses said unto the people, Fear not, stand still, and see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show to you today. For the Egyptians whom ye have seen today, ye shall see them again no more forever. Wow. I like those two words, forever. That means that there are some battles that can be settled and they will never rise up again. You know, there are some battles that you fight and you win and then they surface after a few months. But this one says, no. This one will be shut down forever. And then he said, the Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace. But the question I ask is this. How did the Lord fight for them? Believe it or not, it was with the use of winds. Wind. That's what God used. Many of us don't realize this. But one of the weapons you can use for warfare are the winds of God. I spoke extensively about that yesterday, so I'm not going to go back to that. But let me read how it happened in Exodus 14.21 and Exodus 14.22. And Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. And the Lord caused the sea to go back. Now listen to this. By a strong east wind all that night and made the sea dry land and the waters were divided. How did God fight? Wind. The children of Israel went into the midst of the sea upon the dry ground and the waters were a wall to them on their right hand and a wall to them on their left hand. You know, I made a general statement yesterday. I said that for the most part, the scenario you find in the Bible is that the east wind brings judgment, and the west wind removes judgment. I also said yesterday that for the most part, the east wind, wind brings damages, and the west wind reverses damages. We saw that in the story of the locusts concerning the plagues in Egypt. But here you see the Lord using the east wind to favor Israel. Listen to this now. God used the east wind to favor Israel But it was a setup to damage Egypt. This is so beautiful. None is as wise as this God that we serve. The east wind came. It divided the waters. And it let Israel pass. That was actually a miracle. And the miracle was wrought to lure in Egypt. Come on, come on, Egypt. Come on, Egypt. Follow them. They just passed on dry ground. You can do it. What they can do, you can do it. And Egypt fell for the plan. And they ended up in an irreversible judgment. 
regardless of whether the wind is from the east or the west or the south or the north. Here is the key. If it works to vindicate you, it will at the same time work to complicate things for your enemies. If it works on your side, it will work against their side. If it works to lose you, it will work to bind the enemy. The wind of God, you know what it did that day? It finally put an end to the oppression of centuries. What we only read in that passage, though, is that God's strong wind divided the waters. But did you know that the same wind that divided the waters and the children of Israel passed to the other side and the children of Pharaoh and his uh, people, they walked on the dry ground for a while to the middle of the sea. Guess what happened? (laughs) The same wind that divided the sea blew again and it closed up the sea. He closed up the waters when Egypt got into the middle of the waters. Look at that in Exodus 15.10. It says, Thou didst blow with thy wind, and the sea covered them. They sank as lead in the mighty waters. Ha ha! The same wind that was used to help Israel was employed to hurt their pursuers. The same wind that made a way for the people of God shut the way against their stubborn pursuers. The same wind that saved Israel destroyed the Egyptians. Wow. Winds of mercies for one became winds of mercilessness for the other. What a mighty God we serve. You know, my prayer for you is that the wind of God will make a way for you through every Red Sea before you, every barrier, every impassable and impossible barrier before you, like it did for Israel at the Red Sea. May the miracle Lure your pursuers in to a point of no escape. And may the same wind that brought you victory, may that same wind teach them a lesson that generations to come will read with awe. That's what we're going to pray about tonight, people. Let's pray that the winds of mercies and the winds of mercilessness will blow for us this year and apportion to everyone what they deserve. All right? The winds of mercies blowing for us. The winds of mercilessness blowing against them. All right? So, it depends on what you deserve. If you deserve the winds of mercies, that's us. If you deserve the winds of mercilessness, that's them. I think it's about time for God in 2024 to draw a line and show the difference between us and them. They've tried long enough, centuries, not 100 years, not 200 years, not 300 years. They've done everything they could do, all right? God brought us out, and uh, they know that we're on the way out, and now they intensify the war. Let me tell you something. If you're on your way out, you've taken the first step. You've come out on the day of Passover. You are now by the Red Sea. You are now waiting to cross. And those that are pursuing you, they are intensifying the war. They are on their horses. They got the best uh, soldiers to come and apprehend you. Guess what? This that they are up to will be the one that will destroy them. This that they are up to will be the one that will spell their doom. And not because you're going to do anything. We're just going to cry tonight. Lord, where is your wind? 
Because God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. What he did back then, ladies and gentlemen, is able to do, and he will do tonight. Welcome to a time of life-changing intercession. Why don't we go before God? Let me shut up here. And then we'll pray for the next 44, 45 minutes. You ready? We're going to begin with thanksgiving. Father, we thank you for another Friday. I want you to bless the name of the Lord. Last Friday looked like yesterday. Father, we thank you. Father, we bless you. We don't take this for granted. That you watch over us, that you protect us, that you keep us day after day, week after week. Here we are. Thank God for letting us see another Friday. I want you to bless him for his protection on us all through this work week. He was with us on Monday all the way through Friday, and here we are, getting ready for the weekend. We just want to stop and say, Lord, we appreciate it. Every good thing you have done for us, you don't charge us, you don't send us a bill. Father God, if, if, if man were to do for us what you do for us, hey, we'll probably be bankrupt. But Lord, is all free, and we are grateful. We don't take it for granted. All your goodness to us, all your kindness to us, all your provision for us, all your protection over us. Hallelujah. Lord, we glorify you. Lord, we adore you. Lord, we bless your holy name. Thank him. Bless him for his protection on us all through this week. Thank God for his provision for us all through this week. I want you to thank God for the things that have happened this week and this year so far. Things will have been worse than what they turned out to be because God took control and God said, okay, 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 that's enough, that's enough. Leave my baby alone. Father, we thank you for putting a stop to whatever the enemy had in mind since January 1st. And here we are tonight. We are still alive. We are still awake. And we are still walking after you. We are still living after you. We are still pursuing after you. Father, we bless you and we worship you for that. Thank God because Master Jesus is always in control. Yes. He's always in control of the affairs of our lives. He's in control of the affairs of your life. He's in control of the affairs of my life. I want you to bless the Lord for that. It is not the devil that is in control. As a matter of fact, it's not the uh, Philistines or, or Pharaoh and the Egyptians that are in control. Master Jesus is the one in control. And we give him praise for that. We give him glory for that. That the affairs of my life and the affairs of your life, they are under the control of the God Almighty from heaven. Father, we thank you. I want you to bless the Lord for the winds of mercies and comfort that removes our discomforts like they did for Noah in what we prayed about yesterday. Just imagine the discomfort that Noah and his family were in living with animals. Imagine the smell. Imagine the stench. They were there. And a day came the wind of God to control and remove what was underneath them and say, you dry up. Let my people be separated from animals. And God is going to do that for us this year. All the animals that have been living around us, messing around us, the Lord will bring a separation. Send the animals into the forest in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless the Lord for the winds of mercy. Bless the Lord for the winds of comfort that removes our discomforts like it did for Noah and his family. Hallelujah. Thank God for the same wind that opened the door for Noah and it will open the door for you also. Yes, if not for that wind, Noah will never have stepped out of that boat. The wind blew, the waters dried up and he stepped out of the boat. Hey, you're about to step into something new. You're about to step into your territory. You're about to step into a new job. You're about to step into a new home. You're about to step into a new blessing. You're about to step into a new business. But these waters just have to dry up. I want you to thank God for the prayers we prayed yesterday. If you are now with us, you can go back and listen to them. Ah, God, let your wind blow. Thank God tonight. Because God will not allow your temporary abode 
abode, to become your permanent abode. Did you hear the prayer? I just pray of thanksgiving because we prayed this yesterday and I just feel willing to come back tonight to say, Lord, much obliged. We thank you because you will not allow a temporary abode to become our permanent place of dwelling. The ark was a temporary abode. It was not a place that Noah was to live in forever. And God, that's how it turned out to be. Say, oh Lord, everything temporary in my life, I thank you because you will not allow anyone to turn into permanent abode for me. Thank God, because you and yours will feel the impact of the winds of God in 2024. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to thank God in advance. Say, Lord, I thank you, I praise you, I worship you. Because I will feel the impact of your winds. And guess what? It's not only you that will feel the impact of the winds of God. Even your enemies, hallelujah, will feel the impact of the winds of God. Just thank God in advance. You will feel the impact of the winds of God for deliverance. They will feel the impact of the winds of God for destruction if they don't back off. Father God, we just bless you. We worship you. We adore you because me and mine will feel the impact impact of the winds of God this year in the name of Jesus. I want you to begin to thank God for the other wind of mercy that sealed the doom, the doom for the oppressive Egyptians and opened the way for these children of Israel. Lord, I will thank you that your wind is able to open the door for someone and your wind is able to shut the door in the face of another. Father, we thank you because we belong to the group that the wind of God in 2024 will open the door for, will make a way for, will get us to our destination and our promised land. You know, without that Red Sea parting, they will never have got to the promised land. The same thing with you and I. Only God knows the Red Sea before us tonight. You cannot move. You are there. There's nothing you can do. You cannot swim across. What about your little ones? You are not alone, but God is going to make a way for you. Say, Lord, I thank you because this year you're going to make a way for me. You're going to, this year, don't, men, don't mention next year. Say this year. I thank you because you're going to make a way for me. I'm going to, you're going to put a smile on my face. I'm going to cross over. Did you hear what I said? I'm going to cross over. Hallelujah. All the barriers, all the hindrances, all the blockages in my way. The wind of God will make it possible for me to cross over to the other side. Thank God for all that wind of mercy that we are talking about tonight. Thank God his winds are still blowing till today. Isn't that beautiful? The winds are still blowing. Hallelujah. The winds are still blowing again. The winds are still blowing. The winds are still blowing. The winds of deliverance are still blowing. The winds of provision are still blowing. I want us to thank God for the winds of God tonight. Say, Lord, I thank you for the winds of deliverance. I thank you for the winds of power. I thank you for the winds of freedom. In the name of Jesus, they are still blowing today. Today, I wanted to thank the Lord for the opportunity to call on God who changeth not. In the name of Jesus, what he did back then, he will do again for us tonight. Hallelujah. There is no secret what God can do. It's not a secret. What is done for others, he will do for you also. I want you to pray that he will give us appropriate prayer points tonight as we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we are believing you. We are trusting you that you will give us appropriate prayer points. Even as we call upon you tonight, I want you to wage war against sin in your life. I want you to pray tonight that every sin of omission, every sin of commission that will uh, uh, cancel your prayers and the effectiveness of it, uh, the blood of Jesus will wash you and cleanse you tonight. Uh, Every sin of omission, every sin of commission, whatever it is uh, that is standing in your way and, and, and being an accuser, and say, no, 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 God, you must not answer. God, you must not send the wind because of this, because of that. I want you to pray that any any wind of iniquity in your heart, any wind of sin and unrighteousness in your life, the blood of Jesus will remove them from you completely tonight. Whatever you have done today, whatever you have said today, wherever you have gone today, whatever it is that God is not pleased with in your life, the blood of Jesus will wash you. The blood of Jesus Jesus will cleanse you. The blood of Jesus will purify you in the mighty name of Jesus. Let us pray that the Lord will 
deliver us from unbelief. The Lord will deliver us from doubt. You know, you may, you may be doubting in your heart that can God still send wind today? But I don't see it. I don't feel it. How can I know? Well, don't worry about it. Just trust. Only believe. Only believe. What he did back then, he'll do now. I want you to just say, Lord, doubt must be destroyed in my life. Even as I pray these prayers tonight, unbelief must be crushed in my life. Even as I pray this prayers tonight in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to pray for strength, pray for strength, pray for strength, pray for strength. Uh, without God, we can do nothing. Oh, we got just about 35 more minutes to pray. Uh, and if God does not give you the grace, if God does not give you the strength, uh, that 35 minutes will look like 350 minutes. Uh, but if God will give you grace, if God will give me grace, uh, the time will just pass like that. Uh, I want you to pray for special strength, special grace for everyone in every locality that are praying with us tonight. There are people I see, uh, I see uh, Bishop Richard in, uh, in uh, East Africa praying with us. I see, I see people in, in, uh, in Nigeria. I see people in Ghana. I see people in England, in Europe praying with us tonight. I see people in California. I see people all over the United States uh, joining us in Canada to pray with us tonight. We all need grace, 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 grace. Uh, Papa, pour out grace for us tonight uh, to be able to use in praying and in calling you tonight. Uh, in the name of Jesus, Father, we confess that without you, we can do nothing. Without you, I cannot lead these prayers. Uh, without you, we cannot pray these prayers. Uh, but we pray that you will visit every locality anywhere in the world uh, where people are up tonight, where people are standing up, where people are sitting up, uh, where people are walking around, where people are fighting sleep. Uh, yes, you are fighting that sleep. May the Lord give you the strength to win for the next 33 minutes or so. Everyone on this prayer line, Father, pour our strength upon us. Pour our strength upon us, O oh God, to be able to call on you, to be able to meet with you, to be able to see answers. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. You know, the first thing that God told them was that they should stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. I want you to pray for that grace. It's not easy to stand still. Oh, hey! It is not easy to stand still. Yes! You can preach about it. You can talk about it. But when it comes, the rubber meets the road. Aha! That's why we want to begin by praying tonight, grace to stand still and see your salvation through the power of your wind. Papa, pour it out upon me tonight in the name of Jesus. Grace to stand still, to see the salvation of the Lord. Father, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. In the name of Jesus, you know, things can happen to us that can make us worry. Things that can happen to us that can destabilize us. But if we won't hold on to God's hand and say everything will be all right, do you know they always come out to be all right? They saw the waters and they saw the Egyptians overtaking them. To the right were the mountains. To the left were the mountains. Where could they run to? In the front was water. In the back was Pharaoh. To the right, to the left were mountains. Oh my God, where is the way out? God has a way out for you. I don't know what you are. I don't know where you are. I don't know what your situation is. I want you to pray that God will give you grace to stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. I want you to pray for divine fearlessness tonight. Papa, oh Lord, deliver me from entertaining fear when I have the God of strong winds of masses around me. Papa, deliver me, deliver Deliver me, deliver me, deliver me, yes. It's no secret what God can do. If God chose that day, do you know, God could have removed that mount, those mountains. But he left the mountains alone. He dealt with the sea, hallelujah. And the Lord will deal with the sea in front of you. Papa, deliver me from entertaining fear when I see the mountains. Deliver me from entertaining fear when I see the waters. Deliver me from entertaining fear when I see Pharaoh and his cohorts behind me, O oh Lord. Say, O oh Lord, whatever is in front of me, whatever is behind me, whatever is to my right and to my left, whatever I see that is... Uh, 
supposed to terrify me, that terrifies me in my dream. And I wake up panting, I wake up sweating. Oh Lord, help me to wake up saying I'm not afraid. Let me be able to say like Paul the Apostle, none of these things move me. I want you to pray that the Lord will take you to the point where you'll be able to say to anything and to everything in front of you that come on, none of these things move me. None of these things trouble me. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I will not entertain fear. I will stand and be still and see the salvation of the Lord. Can I ask you to pray that you will not take things into your hands? You can't swim through the Red Sea. You cannot walk through the Red Sea. There's no boat that can carry hundreds of thousands of people through the Red Sea. So you need God where you are. Say, oh Lord, right now I need God. In the name of Jesus, God has taken you to the place. Now, if God doesn't do it, it cannot be done. Oh, yes, God knows how to take us to a, take us to a place like that. Where if God doesn't do it, it cannot be done. If God doesn't move it, it cannot be moved. If God doesn't open it, it cannot be opened. Say, oh, Lord, where I am right now is that. I pray, oh, Lord God, that the winds of God, in the name of Jesus, the winds of God will arise and make a way for me, oh, God. I want you to pray. You know, these people began to grumble. These people began to complain. And they were telling him that, why didn't you leave us in Egypt? Why did you bring us here? You could have left us where we were. I want you to pray, oh Lord, deliver me from grumbling. Deliver me from complaining against the power of God of strong winds. In the name of Jesus, grumbling and complaining in unbelief. Die in my life tonight. Die from my life tonight. Grumbling and complaining even quiet there are people that will not speak out, but inside them they are grumbling, inside them they are complaining. Lord, I refuse to be like Israel at the Red Sea. I refuse to follow the example that they laid at the Red Sea. I shall not complain, I shall not grumble. I will not complain, I will not grumble, but I will stand still fearlessly and see the salvation of the Lord in the name of Jesus. So what did God do? He summoned the wind. I want you to pray, oh Lord, summon the wind, summon the wind, call the wind for me. Papa, summon the wind, call the wind for me, oh Lord. And he said, he summoned a strong wind. Not just an ordinary wind, a strong, strong, strong wind. Not just any type of wind, a strong wind. The, the, because the sea was big, the Bible even tells us the wind blew all night. That shows you the magnitude of what was before them. And many of us, what we are faced right now is so big. We don't need ordinary wing, ordinary wind. We don't need ordinary angel. We need mighty angels. We need mighty winds. Papa, summon them, summon them. Call for them, O oh Lord. Papa, call for the wind on my behalf, O oh Lord. Not just any type of wind, O oh Lord, but the type of wind that you use for Israel. Let my case be like that. Let my portion be like that. Summon the wind to deliver me me. Summon the wind to set me free. And I'm talking about mighty wind. I'm talking about strong wind. Papa, send it on down. Send it on down. Send it on down. In the name of Jesus. Papa, send the wind. Oh, I need it. Send the wind. Oh, I need it. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and pray in faith tonight. This is where I want you to put your faith to work. Say strong winds of God's masses begin to blow for me tonight. Strong winds of God's masses begin to blow for me tonight. Begin to blow for me tonight. Strong winds of God's masses blow, 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 blow without any hindrance. Strong winds of God's masses. Come on, open your mouth and pray tonight. In the name of Jesus, what you ask God for is what God will give you. Say, my Father, say, my Lord, strong winds of your masses let them begin to blow for me. Let them begin to blow for me. Let them begin to blow for me. Oh, Lord, release 
release the winds in the name of Jesus from their reservoir in the realm of the spirit. I know I may not see it, but I know they are walking. Oh Lord, as they walk for Israel by the Red Sea, strong winds of God's mercies. Oh Lord, begin to blow for me tonight. Papa, summon them, summon them, summon them, summon them for me in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that the winds of God will begin to divide every every Red Sea, standing in the way of your onward movement to your promised land. You know you have a promised land. You know you are going somewhere. They've been prophesied to you. You've seen it in your dreams. You've seen it in your visions. You know you are going somewhere. Prophets that are not even connected. They have told you this is where you are going. This is where you are going. You are going to the land of Canaan. You are going to the land that flows with milk and honey. Yes, we know that. But what about this sea before me? The strong wind of God will take care of that. So, strong wind of God, open your mouth and cry to God tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, my father, my father. Let your strong wind begin to divide every Red Sea, standing in the way of my onward movement to my promised land. Do you know that many of you have been standing in one spot for one year, for two years, for three years? They will not let you go forward because there is a sea in front of you. Papa, where is the wind tonight? Oh Lord, do what you did in the book of Exodus. Send the wind. Send the strong wind. In the name of Jesus. Father, part every Red Sea before me. Come on. Oh, hey, yeah. I wish I'm standing up. I'll be walking around and, and, and motioning my hand as if I'm parting the sea. Oh, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Your strong wind. Come on. Pray and believe God. Let them divide every Red Sea standing in my way to get a job. Let them divide it. Oh, Lord. Let them divide every way for me. Oh, God. So I can move forward to my Canaan. So I can move forward to my promised land. Papa, let this let the wind come to my aid, like it came to the aid of Moses and the children of Israel. In the name of Jesus, say I will move forward in 2024. Say I must move forward in 2024. Say I shall move forward. New horizon, new location, new blessing. In the name of Jesus, to the promised land. Papa, let your wind open the way. Let your wind open the way. Let your wind make a way through the, 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 the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. Can we come against this Red Sea tonight? In the name of Jesus. Forget about Pharaoh behind. Is this Red Sea that I'm worried about? Say every barrier. That's the Red Sea. Say every blocking. That's the Red Sea. Say every hindrance. That's the Red Sea. Say in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. Say my father, my father. Father, my Father, let every barrier, let every blockage, let every hindrance blocking my path, let them be divided by the blowing of your strong wind. Let them be parted into two so I can cross over. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, you know where you are going, you know what you want, you know what you want to accomplish, but there is this barrier, you know it, you feel it, that something is pushing you back, something is hindering you. I want you to pray tonight that every barrier, every blockage, every hindrance in front of you, oh God, every stone, every rock, every sea blocking your path to moving forward. Papa, your wind, where is your wind tonight? Papa, where is your wind tonight? Blow them apart. Blow the wind or blow the, the waters. Blow the mountains. Blow the rocks. In the name of Jesus, are there devils in front of me tonight? Papa, are there are devils in front of me tonight. Papa, I said that there are devils and demons in front of me tonight. Let your wind blow them off. In the name of Jesus, blow them, blow them, blow them, blow them, blow them, blow them. In the name of Jesus, every spirit that has been stationed against me, every spirit that has been stationed around me, in the name of Jesus, let your wind blow them away. I want you to pray tonight. See every curse, every jinx, every hex, 
ex uh, that is working against my life, uh, that is standing in front of me. Uh, they've sent the jinx, uh, they've sent the hex, uh, they've sent the curse, uh, and it's standing in your way. Uh, say, wind of God, uh, blow them away, blow them away, blow them away, blow them away. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, uh, I want you to say, winds of masses, open your mouth. Uh, please say, winds of masses, uh, say, open the highway, uh, open the highway. Uh, inside the sea. Open the highway. Come on, pray, 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 pray. Say, winds of God. Open the highway for me, oh, 2024. Beginning in this January. Oh, Lord, the, the, the way must open in the name of Jesus. I've got the strength to walk across. I've got everything to walk across. You know, sometimes you have everything to accomplish great things. You have the certificate. You have the beauty, but you can't get married. You have the certificate, but you cannot get a job. You have the experience, but you cannot get the employment. You've got everything. You've got the strength to do it. But this, this sea is there. Oh, Lord. Winds of masses. Let them open the highway for a new employment in 2024. Let them open the highway for a new house. Let them open the highway of a new business. Let them open the road to my destiny. In the name of Jesus. Maybe you are here tonight. You don't even know what you are doing. If somebody asks you, say what you are doing. You say, I'm just floating. No, 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 no. You are moving forward. By the grace of God, we are moving forward. Papa winds of masses, let them open the highway. Let them open the highway. Which highway do you want God to open for you, my friend? Which highway do you want God to open for you in 2024? And the winds of masses can open them. Like they open the Red Sea for them. Open the highway, open the highway of dash, 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 dash. What is your dash, 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 dash tonight? Open the highway to employment, open the highway to pregnancy, open the highway to marriage, open the highway to whatever, to healing, open the highway, whatever the highway is. Papa, open it, open it, open it, open it, open it. Oh Lord, all barriers in the way of my getting a job, all barriers in the way of my traveling out of my country, all, all barriers to getting my house approved, all barriers of starting my business, all barriers of my ministry exploding. Papa, let your wind blow out the barriers. In the name of Jesus, whether the barriers be seas, whether the barriers be witchcraft, whether the barriers be Ogbanji and familiar spirits, Papa, blow them out. In the name of Jesus, all powers of darkness that are standing in my way, and they say you are not going anywhere, my friend. Lord, I'm going somewhere because you have said, I will worship you in the land of Canaan. I will get to the place where it is milk and honey, but they are saying I will not get there. Say by the grace of God, the wind will blow. Say, oh Lord, let your wind blow. Let your wind blow. Let it blow out every blockage. Blockage to prosperity. Let your wind blow them out. Blockage to traveling. Let your wind blow them out. Blockage to marriage. Let your wind blow them out. Blockage to securing employment that is commensurate with my qualification. It's one thing to get an employment to where they are giving you tips and it's not commensurate with your qualification. It's a blockage. Papa, let your wind blow, 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 blow tonight. Let your wind blow them out. Let your wind destroy them. Let your wind move them out. Let your wind make a path for me. Let your wind make a way for me out of the blockage. The blockade to my prosperity. The blockade to whatever it is. Mention it to God. Mention it to God. Whatever you see as a blockage. You know your own life is just a life of delay. You are so used to delay. I want you to pray that all instruments of delay in my life. Lord, blow them out. Blow them out. Blow them out. You look at the history of your life. I look at the history of my life. You can point to delay, delay, delay here and there. Delay, delay, delay here and there. So Lord, all the history story of delay in my life uh, that is now manifesting itself again in 2024. Uh, winds of God, uh, blow them out. Uh, winds of God, uh, blow them away from me. Uh, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Uh, you know that thing, my friend, uh, they were stranded. They were stranded uh, in front of the sea. Uh, they were cornered by the enemy. Did you see those two things? They were stranded. They were cornered. See, I shall not be stranded. Uh, she I shall not be cornered. 
cornered. Say I shall not be stranded. Say I will not be stranded. Say I must not be stranded. Say I will not be cornered by the enemy. Say by the power of the winds of God. By the powers of the winds of God. I decree it tonight. I establish it tonight. Ooh, I confess it tonight. I shall not be stranded. I will not be stranded. In the name of Jesus. I must not be stranded. I will not be cornered. I must not be cornered. In the name of Jesus. Can you pray tonight? Please pray. Please pray. Please pray. That whatever impossibilities are standing in your way like the Red Sea. Open your mouth and let's pray to God tonight. Say oh Lord. Whatever seeming impossibilities are standing in my way. In the way of my children. Oh I want you to know. The grandfathers were there. The fathers were there. The wives were there. The children were there. The grandchildren were there. The whole family of the Israelites were there. I want you to pray all impossibilities. Standing in my way for my generation. Standing in the way of the generation of my children. Standing in the way of the generation of my children's children. Like the Red Sea. Blow them away. Papa, blow them away by your wings. All seeming impossibilities that are standing in my way, oh Lord, like the Red Sea. Let them be blown out. Let them be blown away. Let them be blown out. Let them be blown away. When Pharaoh saw them, he said, oh, 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 the, 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 the wilderness is going to, to swallow them up. He said, I've cornered them. I've cornered them. I want you to pray tonight. Say, oh Lord, where the enemy thinks they have cornered me. In the name of Jesus, where the enemy thinks they have cornered me. Papa surprised them by the winds that blew in strength. In the name of Jesus. Ah, maybe you have a court case and and, 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 and the one you took to court or the one that took you to court uh, things that they have cornered you uh, you know what they call surprise witness I love it when lawyers wait they just, the lawyers will just wait uh, till the last minute and they tell the judge we have a surprise testimony, we have a surprise witness and the case will just change, I want you to pray uh, where the enemy think they have cornered me oh lord, uh, bring surprise out for them oh lord uh, by your wings, uh, let your wings blow in surprises. In the name of Jesus, the God of the winds, the God of the surprises, will surprise the one that you took to court, will surprise the one that took you to court, where enemies think they have cornered us, where the enemy thinks that they have won this case. Oh Lord, last minute surprise witness, bring them out, let them be blown in by the, by, by, by the, by, by the winds of God. Evidences, concrete evidences that will sink their case that will sink their case. Papa, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Blow them to us. Blow them to us. Blow them to us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Where they think all hopes for me are lost. Open your mouth and pray, people. Say, oh Lord, where they think all hopes for me are lost. Surprise them by blowing off your wind, your mighty winds of hope. Where they think all hopes are lost. Let the winds of hope begin to blow for me, O oh God. Where they think all hopes for me are lost, winds of hope begin to blow. Winds of hope begin to blow. What about winds of mercy? O oh Lord, frustrate every plan to drag me back into what you freed me from. Did you hear what I said? They want to drag you back into what God set you free from. They want to drag them back to Egypt that God set them free from. O oh Lord, frustrate every plan by your wind. It was a wind, oh, nothing else. It was the wind. It was the wind that the Lord used to fight. Oh, Lord, use the wind to fight for me. Use the wind to fight for my children. Use the wind to fight for my church. Use the wind to fight for my practice. Use the wind to fight for my employment. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every plan to drag me back into the Egypt that you freed me from, every plan to drag me back into the place that you freed me from, oh Lord, let your wind frustrate them. Wind of mercy, where are you? Blow on my behalf like you blew on the behalf of the children of Israel. Let your wind speak again. Come on, open your mouth, say, Lord, let your wind speak again. In the name of Jesus, let your wind speak again and let it speak against 
all the efforts uh, to silence your promise in my life. Uh, that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to silence the promise of God. God promised, I'll take you here. I'll take you there. And they said, no, no, God is not going to take you nowhere. And the wind came. And the wind came and frustrated their efforts. Uh, see, every effort to silence uh, the promise of God for your life. Uh, every uh, effort uh, to frustrate uh, the promises of God for your life. Uh, Lord, where is the wind tonight? Uh, oh, Lord, let the wind blow this January in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I like what Moses did. Oh, I feel like doing it. Uh, the Bible says, uh, Moses stretched forth his hand. Uh, did you hear what I said? Uh, he stretched forth his hand. Uh, I want you to pray tonight. Uh, say, my Father, my God, uh, this is a sign tonight. Uh, as I stretch forth my hands, uh, whatever is before me for evil, uh, let it be blown away by the strong wind of God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I like when we do signs like this. Say, oh Lord, as I stretch out my hands, whatever is before me right now that I see, whatever is before me right now that I don't see, if it is for evil, be blown away, be blown away by the strong wind of God. That was what Moses did. He stretched out his hand and guess what? The wind came and blew it away. Oh Lord God, as I stretch out my hands, oh God, in the name of Jesus, as I stretch out my hand before me, every devil that is in front of me be blown away. Every barrier in the realm of the spirit be blown away. Every barrier to my side be blown away. Every barrier behind me, as I stretch my hand behind me, demons that are pursuing me be blown away by the wind of God. In the name of Jesus, Jesus, in the name of Jesus, come and see the way of escape. Do you know the Bible says nothing, nothing has ever happened to you that God does not provide a way of escape. Yes, that was what happened at the Red Sea. God made a way of escape. I want you to pray as the blowing of the winds of God made the way of escape. And it was a permanent way of escape over pursuers. Oh Lord, make a way of escape for me. Oh God, I don't know what you need to escape, but say, Lord, ah, uh, ah, uh, your mighty winds of mercy. Let them open a permanent way of escape in the name of Jesus. And Paul talked about that in the New Testament. He said, God is able to provide a way of escape for us. I want you to pray. I don't know where you are. I don't know what is going through in your life. I don't know what your circumstance is, but God is able to make a way of escape. Say, my father, my father, my father, because you are my father because you are my God. Make a way of escape for me. Let the wind blow. Make a way of escape for me. Let the wind blow. Let the wind blow and make a way of escape for me. Permanent escape for my children. Permanent escape for my husband. Permanent escape for my wife. In the name of Jesus. This place that I want to escape from, Papa, make a way of escape. Let some wind blow, sir. Let some wind blow, sir. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want to walk in new dry ground. Did you hear? <laughs> this is prophetic. Say, oh Lord, I want to walk on, on a new dry ground. Oh Lord, I want to walk on a new dry ground. Nobody has ever walked that ground that the children of Israel walked in the Red Sea on that day. Nobody has ever walked that ground since the creation of the world. The waters was there. The waters were there from the creation of the world. But when the wind blew for the first time, virgin land land. They stepped in it. I want you to say, Lord, I want to step in a new land. I want to step in a new territory, a new land where I will walk, a new land of employment. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, a new land, I want to walk in it. You know, it's like you go to a place, you see the employees walking back and forth. I remember many years ago when I wanted to walk in the, ba to walk in the bank. I would go to the bank, I would see the employees walking back and forth. Finally, I got a job. God opened a way. God made a way for me to get a job in that bank. And I joined them. I was walking back and forth like them. I want you to pray that this year where you have never placed your foot, the wind of God will open the way for you to place your foot there in the name of Jesus. Maybe it's a place. Maybe it's a country. Maybe it's a home. Maybe it's a job. Maybe it's a business. Papa, take my feet this year in the name of Jesus. Papa, take my feet this year 
and make me walk on the ground that I've never walked before in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, you delivered all these people, grandfather, father, great grandfather, little children, little siblings. I want you to pray. That's what I call family deliverance. It was family deliverance for them. It happened to Noah, you remember yesterday, and now the Israelites also, they got family deliverance by the wind of God. So wind, blow, 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 blow upon my family. Blow upon the young in my family. Blow upon the old in my family. And give us family deliverance, family deliverance, family deliverance. As they overcame the sea, that became problematic for them. Let me overcome, oh Lord, whatever represent problems in my life. Let them be blown apart. Let them be blown away by your mighty wind. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deliver my father. Deliver my mother. Deliver me. Deliver me. Deliver my brothers. Deliver my sisters. Deliver every one of us. Give us family deliverance. Like you gave Noah. Like you gave Israel. It was the wind that did it. Let your wind do it. Let your wind do it. In the name of Jesus. Entire family. Let us see the deliverance of God. In the name of Jesus. Whatever problems are before us. The Red Sea was a problem. The Lord blew out the Red Sea. Papa blew out the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus. Did you notice something? No Israelite was left behind. No Israelite was left behind. I want you to pray that the mighty winds of God will bring mercy. Mercy deliverance to all your family members. No one will be left behind. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I want us to pray because it's, it's, it's water. I want us to pray concerning water tonight and the powers that live inside them. Say a decree. The powers inside the waters that are fighting your plan in my life. Any power inside any water that is pl- fighting the plan of God in my life be blown away by God's mighty winds of mercy. Every spirit inside the waters. Every marine spirit in the name of Jesus. Every queen of the coast spirit that is fighting the will of God in my life be blown out of my way in the name of Jesus. Can you imagine the day the Red Sea was parted? Every spirit living inside this was pushed to the side, pushed to the side. The people of God need to pass. I want you to pray that water spirits, marine kingdom, water spirits, marine kingdom, open your mouth and pray tonight. Water spirits, marine kingdom, standing in my way, bow to the blowing of God's wind. Bow to the blowing of God's winds of mercies. All spirits in the waters, all spirits in the marine kingdom, standing in my way, bow tonight, bow tonight, bow tonight. I decree it, come on, let's decree it, that where the one stood shall become dry ground for you. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that places, that grace and mercy will allow you to pass through, will become sinking sand for your pursuers. You know that the wind blew the waters. Israel passed over to the other side. Egypt tried to do it. And God said, let the wind blow again. And the wind blew. But first of all, let us pray. Say, oh Lord, let me pass to the other side. Father, take me to my other side. In the name of Jesus, let me not die in the way. Let me not perish in the way. We are not told that any of the children of Israel perish in, in the, in, on the dry ground. They all came to the entrance. They got out on the other side. Say, O Lord, until my victory is finished, I shall not die. Until my victory is accomplished, I shall not die. Come on, open your mouth. They want you to die before you get your victory. They want you to die before you have your victory. Say, I shall not die. Say, I shall not die. Say, I shall not die. My children shall not die until they get to their promised land. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The same mercy. Hey! the same grace ah, that allowed them to pass through became the sinking sand for their pursuers. Say, oh Lord, the same grace that will take me over, the same mercy that will take me to the other side, let it become the sinking sand for my wicked pursuers. In the name of Jesus, let the same wind of mercy blow mercies for me. Let it blow the exact opposite against my stubborn pursuers. Did you hear my prayer tonight? The same 
same wind that blows masses for you. Let it blow the exact opposite for your stubborn pursuers. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord. Say, oh Father. Your wind that settled the pursuit of all stubborn pursuers against my life. Oh Lord. Let your wind settle. They are pursuing me, oh Lord. They are pursuit of me. They are pursuit of my family. They are pursuit of the plan of God. Wind of God. Stop. Settle it. Settle it. Settle it. Settle it. Settle it. In the name of Jesus. Those who pursue me, they want to use the paths of deliverance that I have used. They want to use the miracles that I have used. Oh Lord, let them become the recipients of the wrath of God. Let them become the recipients of the anger of God. How dare you think you can use the path I used? How dare you think you can pass through where I pass through? Papa, in the name of Jesus, they have pursued me to a land of destruction. Let them meet their destruction, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that natural forces, spiritual forces that bow before you will become the undoing of your pursuers. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to pray that whatever helps you will hurt them. In the name of Jesus, whatever helps you will hurt them. Say, oh Lord, by the power of your wind, let powers that step out of the way for me pass. They step out of the way for you and they say, you can pass, you can go, you can pass, you can go, you can go, you can go. The same powers that allow me to go, let them swallow up my stubborn pursuers like the Red Sea did. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the power that step out of the way, the power that step out of the way and give me permission to pass, let them swallow them up, the stubborn pursuers. In the name of Jesus, I want you to say, oh winds of God. Yes, say, oh winds of God, let the time come and let it be this year. Oh winds of God, let the time come and let it be this year when those who are pursuing me are permanently stopped by your wind, walking against them. Say, oh Lord, stubborn pursuers, evil pursuers, wicked pursuers, mention their name if you know them. Those who are pursuing me, permanently stop them. In the name of Jesus, by the walking of your wind. Let your wind blow them and close them in. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I want you to open your mouth and say, Lord, let your wind blow. Let your wind blow. Let your wind blow the sea. Let your wind blow the sea to cover them. Every death that is pursuing me, let your wind blow the sea to cover death. Let your wind blow the sea to cover household wickedness. Let your wind blow to cover the enslavers in my life. Let your wind blow to cover failure in my life. Let your wind blow to cover ill luck in my life. Let your wind blow to cover hardship. Let them blow the sea upon hardship, upon non-achievement, upon almost there but never there, almost successful but never successful. Say winds of God! Blow and cover them with the Red Sea. Blow and cover them with the Red Sea. Every death that is pursuing me, Papa, blow, 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 blow the sea to cover them. Household wickedness. Blow the sea to cover them. In the name of Jesus, those who want to keep me in slavery and bound, blow the sea to cover them. Where is failure tonight? Blow the sea to cover them. Where is ill luck? Where is hardship? Where is non-achievement? Where is almost there but never there? Winds of God, blow the sea upon them and cover them, O Lord. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that God will prove to them that the God of freedom is your your God, that the God that sets free is your God. Let those who are bent on reversing the clock of deliverance in my life, that's what these people did though. they were bent on reversing the clock of deliverance. Experience the negative power of God. Let them experience the negative power of God. Those that are bent, those that are bent on reversing the clock of deliverance in my life, those who are bent on reversing the clock of freedom in my life, let them experience the negative power of God. Papa, show them your power like you showed Pharaoh in the Red Sea. In the name of Jesus, they are bent. Oh, they are bent. They say, hey, God give them deliverance. We are going to reverse it. Father, let them perish in their effort. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray that death, death pits, death pits, death pits, death 
pits that you escaped. They will become the barrier ground for your stubborn pursuers. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every evil that they send your way that you escape, it will become their barrier ground. It will become their breakfast, lunch, and dinner. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want you to pray time is gone. I wish we had more time. Say by the workings of the mighty winds of God, by the workings of the mighty winds of God, let them know that what you have done for me cannot be undone. Let them know, that's our last prayer tonight, that what you have given me cannot be taken away. That what you have done for me cannot be undone. In the mighty name of Jesus, that the yes you have said to me can never be turned into a no. That the life that you have given me can never be turned into death. Oh Lord, let your wind settle this problem. Let your wind settle this issue. Let them know, let them know, let them know, let them know that what you have done can never be undone done, that what you have given can never be taken, that what you have done can never be reversed, in the mighty name of Jesus, that what I've already gotten can never be taken away from me, oh Lord let your wind settle this, let the power of your wind settle this, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, we're already past time by four minutes, begin to thank God, begin to say Lord I give you praise, I give you glory, I give you honor, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord, thank you Lord for answering our prayer us tonight. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you dominion. We give you majesty. Oh Lord, in Jesus mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. That last prayer we prayed is my prayer for you tonight as we go and rest. That the spirit of God and the winds of God will begin to let them know that what God has done for you cannot be undone. That what God has given to you cannot be reversed. In the mighty name of Jesus, may the winds of God blow in your favor. And may the winds of God become a disfavor for them from this day on. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen and amen. What a beautiful time God has given us tonight. Please don't forget our announcement for, la for next week. Next week, Wednesday, 7 p.m. New York time, we are, we're going to be having our crossover and communion service. Usually we don't do it on Facebook, but since I will be in charge of it next Wednesday, God helping us, we're going to be on Facebook for the communion service and for the Thursday and Friday services next week. Pray for my strength. We're going to be on the podcast also. And those who call in can call in next week also. Wednesday, 7 p.m. New York time. Crossover and communion service. Thursday and Friday. I want you to write and bring your seven desires for 2024. On Friday, we're going to have an anointing service on Friday. All right, so you're going to bring your prayer request on Friday also, but bring a bottle of oil with you when you come to the service next Friday. On Thursday and Friday, 7 p.m., Wednesday, 7 p.m., may the Lord spare our lives to see those days. That's all the announcement. Oh, by the way, we'll be in church on Sunday. We'll be praying for our health for 2024. We'll be doing a series of services for uh, 2024 this Sunday. We'll be, we'll pray that God will keep us strong and healthy all through 2024. Shall we share the grace as we go rest for the weekend? May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen and amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for being with us. We'll see you next Wednesday if Jesus tarries. Until then, be victorious. Bye-bye. <laughs>